Imagine you are a data analyst and you have the task given from your manager to analyze sales amount, costs, and other spendings throughout the years from 2018 to 2021. What are you gonna do? On Excel, it's straightforward. First thing, you need to have the column which your your uh, years that has uh, associations throughout the, um, the the different features of our data. So what you're gonna do? You're just gonna choose the, the select our data set table. We're gonna do the copy and. We're gonna pass it and choose the transpose. Now we have this value measured, which is going to be our year. And then this, if you want, can be our pivot table. Usually what you do on Excel to analyze your costs and analyze, for example, your costs, right? The sum of the costs for 2018 and so on and so forth, right? Um, this is the straightforward approach on Power BI, uh, on, I'm sorry, on Excel. And now, what about Power BI? You're asked to do the, create the reports and the dashboards, so you're a kind of BI analyst. On Power BI, first look, it might seem um, difficult because uh, the the logic is not as on Excel. So you, you're not just copying and past, pasting the, the values, but you need to use the specific functions. Let me show you which functions you're gonna use now. First function is gonna, you're gonna use on the transform. Uh, you have to transpose your data. And the second one is to promote your headers, which is going to be here. Promote your headers as a, roles as a headers, right? Now, so as I told, the first operation that we're gonna do is to, to transpose our data set. But first you may make sure, you, you need to make sure that your column names that you would love to get uh, are written in this way. Because when you are importing the data, we, I'm, I have imported the data set, right? Here I, I might see the source and I have imported and so on. You're gonna get this option with the column one, column two, column th three as a default. And then your actual columns are gonna have the place on the first row. That's, the, that's what we would love to have. That's the shape of table that we would love to have. And uh, with this shape, shape of table, without doing anything, what we, go, we are gonna do now is the transpose. We click on the transpose and we are immediately gonna see that the measure has um, the, the, the first uh, row is uh, staying as it is. And the other column names that we had became the row values, the first columns of row values and the uh, row values became the um, the sales amount and the cost and others became the column names that we would love. You see that 2018 sales, sales amount is 63 and after transposing um, again 2018 third 63. Nothing has changed. Only things changed is the shape of the table but it is a huge change for a data analyst if you want to uh, analyze throughout the years, your uh, different measures, right? The next, what we're gonna do is go to the home and use the first row as a header. So you're gonna have the measure and so on, but we don't want this to be measure. That's why we are changing this name to the year. And here we go. But you might have a question, actually it's very often problem um, and probably you came across this uh, video because of this problem. And what if you're, you have already done the, um, the operations on your data, um, on your new table, and you have already promote your first column, first row as a column, and you have the measure, and so on. 
in this case, what you can do, like, because if you're going to transform the data and transpose the data, you're going to lose the, the that values of the years. So that's not any more what you would love to analyze, right? The solution is easy, although it's not that obvious as uh, it might be from the first look. You're just demoting the uh, header's name and using it as a first row. This is the um, this is the operation that you should do here. Use the headers as a first column, and the rest is remaining the same as we did before, transposing and then changing the name of uh, the and then again we are gonna use the first row as a header and changing our column name to year. Then we are ready to go. We can apply that. Thank you.